Hello, hello. My name is Rome, and welcome to Dead Estate. Now, as you can see, I do have a green screen now, thankfully, so I can finally put myself in the videos without it looking really stupid. Woohoo! Puck champ. Um, but this is a new roguelike, at least new to me. I know it came out a few years ago, but I never got a chance to play it. And, um, I've been playing it on stream, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I wanted to bring it to the main channel, and, uh, just show you guys what this game's all about, and... Maybe some people will enjoy it and want to get it for themselves. If you wait too long, it goes back to the title sequence. I yapping too much. <laughs> now, there are two characters to start off with. You have Jules and Jeff. Jeff has high HP, but starts with a pistol. And Jules has low HP, but starts with a shotgun. I'm a Jeff enjoyer. I like the safety of the high HP and the pistol. I'm pretty not so good at this game. <laughs> So, I'm gonna try and uh, play it safe and just, just go with Jeff here. Now, this game is very similar to Isaac, Spelunky, and Enter the Gungeon, as you can visibly see the similarity to Enter the Gungeon. Um, in the sense that, I'm gonna have to go through every single point that I have here to explain it. So, first of all, here's the key for the boss, so we can go to the boss whenever we want. That's rare that that happens. Boss door is open. We're not going to go there yet. We're going to explore the floor first. So, it's similar to Isaac in the sense that, you know, it's a roguelike, so it's procedurally generated. All the rooms are random, but there are actually secret rooms in this game. So, sometimes you will find rooms just in these walls here, and they will either have money or bonus items in them, which is uh, pretty darn neat, if I say so myself. It's similar to Gungeon, like I said, in the fact that it's, you know, you got you got guns, you're shooting enemies, you're fighting bosses. Very similar in that sense. I am getting rid of all these pots because they do have a chance to drop money. Um, there is a map in the bottom right. You guys cannot see it because my camera is covering it. However, it's not vitally important, so I figured this was the best place to put the camera. We have a chest over here, so let's check this. What did we get? Reveals the location of secret rooms on the map. Oh, fantastic! So we know where all the secret rooms are now. So, to the left here is actually a witch hut. I call it a witch hut. It's more like a witch bedroom. But this witch will actually sell us little trinkets and knickknacks, little passive items that we can get. Hmm. Bosses now drop a free item on defeat. Gory or kills seems kind of funny, but I'm gonna buy this. I might buy the fancy shield as well if we end up getting enough money. But there are three types of um, NPC rooms that we can encounter. That is the witch room. That is the doctor's office. And, oh, I'm gonna take damage here. Shoot, I forgot to jump. And the mercenary uh, office. So, the mercenary office, uh, pretty self-explanatory. You go there to buy weapons and ammo. So, the weapons that you pick up are gonna have limited ammo. And when they run out, you lose them. So, you can buy ammo to replenish those. The doctor's office is where you go to gain permanent stat increases for your character for the run. Think of it as kind of like the keeper's sack. Of, uh, of this game, if you will. Trying to find a doctor's office as often as we can, just because we would like to increase our stats as often as possible. There are a There is a limit to the amount of increase you can give to your stats. However, uh, we'd like to max those out as soon as possible. So, we got a green chest here. This might be a weapon. Super machine gun. More powerful version of the machine gun that fires a little slower. So, we got a machine gun. Fantastic. This should be really, really strong. Our secret room is over there to the right. This is... I'm gonna use the pistol for this, because I don't want to waste my uh, machine gun rounds, of course. This is essentially your Isaac mob trap or boss trap room. So we hit this. It's gonna spawn a bunch of enemies. We have to survive for either 40 seconds or until we kill all the waves. And we get that item at the end. So we will use our machine gun for this. Should be kind of saving it for the boss. However, it's a first floor boss. So, nine times out of ten, it's going to be a very straightforward boss that isn't very difficult to complete, and we're not going to take very much... Very, we're not going to take very much, if at all, any damage. So, we should be fine regardless. Increases fire rate, and all your shots become bouncy. That sounds insanely good. Fantastic. So, the secret room's going to be back here. Hopefully, it's got an item in it. Nah, just money. We'll take the money. The money is certainly beneficial. So, we got a little rubber cement action going here with... Uh, with this slime ball, which I really, really like. Trying to not hit that crystal, because it will just teleport us back to the starting room, which I don't really want to do right now. I would like to just kind of fully explore all of this. And yeah, as you can see, when we do jump in the air, our shots are also in the air, so they don't hit enemies on the ground, which, through inferences, you can guess that, that yes, there will be uh, 
flight enemies in this in this game. Okay, so we can upgrade our strength here. I'm actually going to upgrade our strength twice because we have enough money to do so. I don't mind not getting the other item that was in the witch hut. It doesn't really bother me that much. In exchange for two strength. As you can see, we're doing 16 damage now as opposed to 12. And we already have uh, an item that's going to allow us to find secret rooms on every floor, which is huge. The blue map, if you will. So I'm going to be big red flash on the screen here. Don't mind that. It's just spawning the boss in. We got Ultra Claude. Fistula, if you will. <laughs> so when we deal enough damage to this guy, he's just going to split. Oh, damn it. He's going to split into smaller versions of himself. And then bada bing, bada boom. Oh, he already dropped an item when he split the first time. Okay, cool. Machine gun did run out of ammo, but that's okay. So the soap bar, which is the item on the ground there, is going to allow us to move faster, but will be more slippery. I don't mind that. I think we are going to just go to the next floor. I don't think we have enough for that globe anyways, but I don't think I really want it regardless. So we're just going to skip that. Sometimes it gives little silly tips here. May the Lord smile and the devil have mercy. Sometimes it tells you like having trouble killing enemies, shoot them with your gun. And it's like, oh, well, I, I didn't think of that. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. So this is an enemy that is in the air, so we will have to jump to get him. Of course, I jumped into the shot. The depth perception on this game, I don't know if it's my eyeballs or if it's the actual game, but the depth perception is a little funky, so it's kind of hard to dodge the aerial shots sometimes. I'm sure it's probably just me and my eyeballs, but who knows. But having this double increase of strength means that we are dealing quite a bit more damage. An extra four per shot is... An extra four per shot might not seem like a lot, but I promise you it adds up. And it's extremely beneficial helping us kill them in a few less shots. So what we're looking for right now, aside from like another doctor's office, if there is one even on this floor, is the chest. Because I would love to find another weapon. Because I don't really want to be using this pistol the entire time. We got a mercenary down here, so we're going to check this. Might want to buy a gun. La Ooh, we got a laser sword. Record is essentially like a... It's not like a boomerang, but it bounces off of walls towards enemies and stuff. We already kind of have that with slime ball. Guaranteed to crush anything in its path. I kind of... I like the sound of the bowling ball, but I kind of want the laser sword. It sounds cool. So what do we got in here? If I knew someone was coming in. Enemies are stunned for a second after entering a room. Dropping to one HP will damage every enemy in the room. Allows you to absorb blood, giving you money. Uh, I don't really care about any of this. I don't know how the absorbing blood works. I don't really want to find out right now. So we got a chest here. Dead man's gun. Uh, damage increases as you kill enemies and then it just resets when you leave the room. I, I just bought a laser sword, so I'm going to skip that. Ow. So the laser sword does not do very much damage. I kind of regret my decision. <laughs> but that's okay. Got our secret room up here. Rid of that. Mr. Friendly, squeak him. Oh, I lost the laser sword. I assume this was a passive item. It is not. It is a teddy bear. I don't know what the teddy bear means or what it does, but I guess we'll find out when we start fighting enemies with it. We got a mob trap over here. We should check this out. Uh, I believe this is a respawn one, so we should definitely get this. Could be super useful. Oh, okay, so it does, like, AoE damage. Cool. Come on, buddy. Yeah. There we go. Briefly, oh, briefly grants invincibility upon entering a room. Okay. I'm just using up this teddy bear because I don't really care about it. How is this guy not dead? Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, we did grab the key, so the boss should be this way, and we should be pretty much done with this floor, I think. Oh, no, we still have the golden chest again. Maybe there's a new weapon in here. That would be really nice. No, it's, uh, enemies are stunned for a second when entering the room. Okay, cool. Cool. All right, let's do it. We can also hold left shift to destroy the weapon if we really want to. But it doesn't give us, like, a weapon in return. We just lose the weapon. So it's like, what's the what's the point, realistically, of doing that? Oh. 
Oh, that he does damage behind him. I actually didn't expect that. So we didn't for we didn't one cycle him. You can actually, if you have enough damage, you can actually kill this guy without him spawning a second wave of enemies. But not a big deal. He should be pretty close to death right here. As you can see, he spawned an item. Sudden death. Smash him with anvils. I have no idea what that means. This floor is done, though. So we can make our way to the next one. I'm really hoping that we get a victory here because I actually haven't beaten the final boss yet. I can't remember if I said that or not. But I really, really want to get a little dubsky, little victory royale, if you know what I'm saying. Never should have come here. Thank you for the tip. That's extremely useful. <laughs> oh, man. The Sanctum. Attic Sanctum. Da, da, da. Oh god, these guys are really fast. You gotta be careful of these guys. And then that crystal ball just kind of shoots out tears. Oh, I guess they go through the little holes too and then reappear. This guy will just drop on the ground and then go back. He's... This guy is a thwomp. That's what this guy is. This guy is a thwomp. And if you don't know what a thwomp is, honestly, I don't know what to tell you. That's crazy. We got a new weapon, Dead Man's Gun. We saw this on the last floor. I will take it. This enemy is terrifying. If you get too close, you just start spewing blood all over you, as you can see. Horrible, and I hate it. And we still took damage. We do, however, have almost $800. Oh, man, it spawned an enemy in there, too. Oh, it's Joe Biden. I hate this enemy. This enemy always kills my runs. Oh, I don't like Joe Biden, man. Kill, crush him with it. Oh, wait, there was an anvil there. Wait, what? Okay, so we might have to buy Ambrosia here. I'm gonna buy this. I'm, I'm thinking about buying this and then buying that. Oh, but I don't have enough. So I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna buy this. Oh, we unlocked uh, a new character, Fuji. Okay, cool. Well, if people enjoy this video enough, they want to see more Dead Estate, I guess we'll check out Fuji in the next video. How about that? New character, Hog. I really hope you guys enjoy uh, enjoy this game as much as I have been, because I've been loving this game. Been having so much fun with it. It's just, it's new, so it's fresh for me. So I've, I've really been liking it. Uh, I gotta jump to kill these guys sometimes. Sometimes they're on the ground, sometimes they're in the air. It's some of the enemies and how they interact is a little confusing. And sometimes these guys just teleport out of bounds and then a message shows up on screen. Damn it. This guy is too high to actually uh, get hit when he's in the air. But that's okay. What do we got? Oh, we got a witch hunt. Fantastic. We might be able to buy something good here. We do only have $200. I know we spent most of our money. Oh, I got stuck. But that's okay because we got an HP container right here. Beautiful. Wormy boy. No, thank you. What do we got in here? Uh, I've bought that before, but I don't know what this is. Boss's spawn with lower health is massive, so I'm immediately going to buy that. That will make our run so much easier. <laughs> I'd love to buy more strength, too, but I definitely need more money before I, uh, before I do that. I didn't even know you could damage those enemies. So these guys are controlled by this heart in the corner, much like the masks in Isaac. I'm sorry that I'm comparing everything to Isaac, but I, I know that I'm, I predominantly post Isaac content, so I like to make the, the references where I can, just so that people kind of know what's going on. <laughs> he got hit by the anvil! <laughs> I don't know what the percent chance for that anvil hitting something is, or like what caused it to drop, or anything like that. That scream means the uh, guy's gonna start chasing us very, very soon, by the way. Just so you're aware. <laughs> This guy has a lot of HP, by the way. Yeah. There we go. So, what do we got here? Oh, we got the golden chest here. Fantastic. Guardian Angel coming in clutch with that HP save. Boom. He's dead. Anvil dropped a little late, but that's okay. We got a chest. Aura of Ammunition. Ammo drops become more frequent. Oh, cool. I like that. That's really, really nice. We got a mob trap. I'd love to do this. I need to be careful because I don't want to uh, run into the boss that's going to chase us around and attempt to kill us. The ghost boy. He's not really a ghost. He looks more like a character from Poppy Playtime, if I'm being honest. Ah, uh, yep, here he is. I'm going to try to kill him right now. You can't actually kill him. I, it, I know that it does say zero damage, 
But we are actually dealing damage to him. And you can incapacitate him for the floor if you deal enough damage. So I am going to do that. Just so that we don't have to deal with him. Because I'd like to take my time here. I believe he has around 200 HP. But he also does, if you incapacitate him for the floor, he also does drop a boatload of money. So, there we go. Yeah, he gave us 200 bucks. What do we got in here? I don't know what this is. So let's uh, check it out. See what we got. We're getting lots of ammo drops. Sadly, we don't actually have a secondary weapon. Oh, wait, we do. We have Dead Man's Gun. I'm so dumb. I forgot about this. Why haven't I been using this? <laughs> Whoops. That would make this floor... Oh, it's Joe Biden. <laughs> They are the worst enemies I've encountered so far. I, I, bar none, the worst enemies I've encountered so far. By a long shot. Grants you a low damage radioactive aura. Okay, cool. Yeah, so he's just chilling there. Uh, secret room is over to the side there. We do have to get this key, so we should just grab that. Just to kind of get it out of the way. These enemies are the ones making the really weird, like it sounds like someone's knocking. That's these, not the rabbits, but the other enemies there. So I apologize about that noise, if you guys can hear that really loud. All right, so. Uh, I don't think there's anything that I want from the doctor's office, actually. So I believe that we can skip that. I wonder if when I was picking up ammo, it wasn't actually going into the dead man's gun. It was just putting it into my main gun, which has unlimited ammo. That would be really stupid, but I wouldn't put it past the game devs. I wouldn't put it past them, dude. It might be like a, it might be like a fuck you, use the right weapon to pick up the ammo type, type of game, you know? I've never actually tested that, so I, I don't know. But he is dead. And we only have 28 bullets left. Gotta three cycle this guy. That's kind of annoying. And we ran out of bullets in our dead man's gun. Damn it! Well, let's see what this is. Double handgun. Ooh, okay. Handgun, but make it double, baby. All right, we've explored everywhere. Should be good. This is a stark contrast to Isaac, where I don't explore the entire floor ever. I'm exploring every floor in every single time on this on this run. This guy we kind of have to jump for because he's up in the air. When we deal enough damage to him, he should lose his... Uh, should lose his ball here, and then he'll be on the ground. But he supposedly has lower HP from buying that uh, Ancient Tome or whatever it was called. So, yeah. Yeah, Ancient Tome. What do we get? Treasure rooms contain an additional item chest. Oh, that's huge. Fantastic. All right. We... Are good to go, my friends. Press spe Oh, thank you. Such a good tip. I love the tips that this game gives. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're in the laboratory now. This is the furthest I've actually made it in this game. So if we make it past this floor, we are going to be very pleased. That is a bomb rat. So as you can see, the difficulty kind of gets turned up to 11 a little bit here. Uh, and that would be why I have been losing on this stage. It just gets a little crazy, man. I'm hoping to find the doctor's office quickly, as well as like all the other shops, because I have 950 smackaroonies. So I'd love to spend them. <laughs> Uh-oh, that sucks. That's my mistake though, I was standing still. Uh, okay, golden chest, we got two chests. What do we got? Vampire charm, chance to regenerate health on kill, huge. Increases damage and increases fire rate for your, oh, bing, for my default weapon. Massive! That's super good. It doesn't look like it increased my damage, though. Wasn't I getting 16 the whole time? I might be bugging. I'm not sure. Okay, so we got our secret room right here. Just money. I have $1,000. <laughs> Please let me spend my money. Shut up and take my money. Anything down here? No. Just pots. We'll get the pots. Eventually, I'm going to start si skipping the pots because I, I have... You know, a thousand dollars. So I don't really need anything else. 
Uh, very much don't like this guy either, because he kind of just appears from the roof uh, every now and then. And you have to just get lucky with where he spawns and then kill him. Which I'm really not a fan of. It's just really annoying. But he's gone. Okay. Oh, this is an easy enough room. I am really hoping there is actually a item that gives you homing in this. I'm really hoping we find that. That would be huge. Homing plus bouncing shots, I feel like, is pretty much just a free win at this point. Got a green chest. Boomerang. I'm going to take the boomerang over the uh, double handgun, I think. Oh, it does. Da that does 40 damage. Oh, my God. Oh, hello. You do charges? I didn't know that. I don't think I've ever seen that enemy before. Would really like to actually get um, my HP stat up. Or not my HP, like, stat, but, like, my actual health up at this point. Because my health is looking a little uh, spry. Spruce? Spry? What's the proper word for that? It's looking a little low. A little too low for my taste. Why is that not hitting him? Is my depth perception really that bad? My goodness. Empty room. The mercenary. Huge. We can get another gun. I don't mind that at all. Oh, they're uh, bomb rats. Ah, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Let's let's chill. Thank you. Extra ammo. All right. Let's buy a new gun. Let's see, oh, let's see what we got. Potato masher. Melee weapons. Ex melee explosive weapon that detonates on impact. Uh, swing slow, but has a... I'm going to buy the hammer. I'm buying the hammer, boys. I have used this weapon before, and I do love it. Oh, no, I'm thinking of a different hammer. This hammer's still really good. But there is another hammer that has, like, a much... Like, is a lot slower, but has a much larger area of effect. I don't know what it's called then, though. I thought it was just this one, but I guess I was mistaken. HP, thank you. I don't think we've gotten any regen, regen from this vampire charm yet. That's a little bit frustrating. So we do know where the actual uh, boss is, but I want to find a doctor's office or a witch hut if we can. The music stopped. That means that, yep, uh, big boy is going to be coming to uh, coming to get us here. There is actually an achievement that I would like to get. Uh, and that is from getting him over here. Where was the spike room? So if you bring him over here... Oh, shoot. So if we bring him over to where the spikes are and he stops jumping... Okay, that was the achievement. It didn't kill him, but that was the achievement. <laughs> So I'm going to leave now because I'm on one HP and I'm going to go buy an Ambrosia because I am looking low on health. <laughs> what? Thank you. Buying three items from the witch on the same floor gives you some money, health, and ammo back. Oh, negates the bad effects of toilet paper. I don't have toilet paper yet, but if we find it, it's for something. I think it's to unlock a character or something, so I'm going to buy this. Uh, the light around you becomes much larger. I think I should have bought that first. Oh, no, it actually worked. Cool. Okay. That works out. Nice. So, uh, there is a mob trap that I guess we haven't checked. So, I'm going to check that as well. Take a look. Wait, why can't I do this? Am I missing it? Or did I already do it? I'm confused. I don't know. Anyways. Oh, I got a new character. The strange creature in the vat at the laboratory. Oh, cool. Okay. Didn't know that was a thing. I did lose 2 HP, which is a little annoying, but I'm just going to go to the boss. I'd rather just get out of here than fight this guy again. I don't really want to deal with him right now. <laughs> Jumping is very nice. Jump, jump, jump. There we go. He won't follow us in here, thankfully. Thankfully, he will not follow us in here. Depending on the boss, I might just use the pistol. We'll have to see. Saibo. Oh, Jesus. Hello. Uh, I have fought this guy before. I've actually never beaten him. So hopefully we can beat him for the first time in this recording. Nice. Good, 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 good. That was really good. Yeah, we're just going to stick with the pistol, I think. 
I think that's the way to do it. Ow. Nice! Rusty key. Enemies have a tiny chance to drop items. Cool. Thank you. To the next flow, baby. And I just got an achievement because I've never cleared the laboratory before. Or the laboratory, if you're feeling a little crazy. If you're feeling a little crazy. Blood must atone for blood. How about these nuts atone for these nuts? Point of no return, the balcony. Oh, I think this is the final floor, my friends. Okay, cool. What is this? Venture further southwest and you shall return to your starting point. Leap from the ledge and descend to the first floor. Do I really want to do that, though? Oh, there's the toilet paper, but I already have the, the wet wipes or whatever. Okay. Hmm. I've never been here, so I don't know really what know what's going on. That should give us a bunch of cash. Thank you. There's some items in here. Oh, more money. Make sure we get all these yellow pots. They're like uh, golden poops, I guess you could say. Drops a dummy that distracts enemies once per room after taking damage. Every fourth consecutive shot deals more damage. Okay. A hard-hitting, slow-reloading weapon that fires bolts which penetrate enemies. I will take that. Cool. We got a witch here. Get dizzy. Boost damage but causes bolts to randomly change direction. Sure. Chance to lob a watermelon while firing at enemies that splits into many slices upon impact. Can I buy both of these? I can and we'll get some stuff back. Hell yeah, baby. Nice. Cool. Oh, I didn't mean to go to her. Sorry. So what's down here? I don't actually know. There's a coffin here. What could be in there? I don't know. I can't crossbow it or nothing? Okay. Uh, I guess we go in here? Stand still. Okay. Maybe this is the final boss. Let's take a look. Take a look. Oh, whole game froze. Where are we going? Where are we going? The balcony cleared. Wait, cleared? Blood must atone for blood. You said that last time. You said that. You said that last time. Oh, floor five. Dead is stayed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I like this. Thank you for the HP as well. That's extremely beneficial. You are a legend for that. Let's keep the crossbow out. Just in case we run into any strong enemies. Oh, we're not running into any strong enemies. It looks like this is like a boss down here. The final boss. Now we're full HP. Let's pull out the crossbow. What do we got? Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh, intruder detected. Lockdown initiated. Okay. Self-destruct sequence begin. Hello. Hey, don't blow me up, please. I just work here. Oh. Oh, hey, it's the guy from the beginning. Cool. I'm just going to shoot him with this crossbow now. A, a, a lot. I took the, the dizzy one because our tears bounce anyways. So it doesn't really matter. So even if they're off target, they're probably going to bounce in like a direction where he is or where he's going. That's what I figured anyways. Might disagree with me, but I thought that was the smart play. I don't think our little Will-O-Wisp is going to do anything to help us, honestly. Use this. Oh, shit. Oh. Wait, I lost my crossbow. Dude. Oh, we beat it. Let's go. I haven't beaten it yet. Oh, my goodness. I got a new difficulty, too. We can try the harder difficulty as well. Fantastic. And a new bonus floor at the bank. Cool. Look at that. We have successfully cleared Dead Estate. Does it? Oh, that's a nuke. Oh, my God. Okay. Well. <laughs> Beat the game as Jeff. Beautiful. Look at that. Shout out to the devs. Great game. I've really been enjoying it so far. Now, we do have two new characters and a brand new difficulty, actually. So, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see me play some more Dead Estate. Oh, what is this? I'm going to skip that. 
Ah, these are the intros for the characters, I bet. Oh, there's a lot of characters. Okay. So, if you guys enjoy this video and you want to see me check out the new difficulty as well as a new character, uh, be sure to like this video and um, leave a comment saying that you guys want to see more Dead Estate because I've, I've been loving this game. I've been having so much fun with it. I'd love to bring you guys some more Dead Estate content if you're interested. Or if there's any other roguelikes you guys want me to check out, be sure to let me know down in the comment section down below. Uh, I do know that I am on a break currently, so I am kind of logged out of everything. But the message will still get to me if that is something you guys want to see. And I will get more Dead Estate videos out for y'all in the near future. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what your favorite part was, what you want me to check out next. And until next time, take care and stay safe, my friends.